we've got a 2010 Ford Explorer. It's got a one key and it looks like a locking gas cap key. This Explorer has 190,000 miles. I think it's a one owner also. And uh, it runs and drives good. I will, I will say it slips from second to third gear, but it still gets up to highway speed. It's just the, the shift from two to three is slipping. And it starts right up. The, uh, the fuel gauge doesn't work, so it says fuel low, but I think we have a, ha I think we have a full tank in this one. And every now and then the fuel, the fuel gauge will work and sometimes it won't. It's just kind of a gamble whether or not it'll work. But I know we put like 30 bucks in it and it's probably got like a three quarters of a tank right now. But overall, actually runs and drives great. Good engine. Everything else is in pretty good shape. The body's in probably a 7 out of 10 condition. It's straight, it's got some scratches. Headlights are peeling a little bit, but that's pretty common on these. A little bit of chip. Uh, it's got good tires all the way around. They're Goodyear tires with good tread. You can see the wheels are scratched. got some scratches here it's got one long scratch all the way along the side all the wheels match and all the wheels have the same kind of damage oh, it's got this little mini tow hitch uh, it has a third row as well that folds flat so both seats actually fold flat all the way down And it's got a keypad right here as well. This one has power seats. Power seat works. Inside's in pretty good shape. Everything's intact. Not all torn up and everything. So radio works. The rear wiper works. It's just on for some reason. The AC see how it feels AC is nice and cold we'll do the heater it's got power foot pedals and those work and the heater is nice and hot also uh, it's got Microsoft sync which means it should have an auxiliary port somewhere yep the USB port also uh, there's no warning lights on dash is in good shape and it's got a sunroof which works and I'm gonna give it a rev also we'll listen to it and that whirring noise is the transmission probably the torque converter if I had the gas or something like that
see there's no active oil leaks. It hasn't been detailed. We got it just like it is, so still a little bit dirty, but overall, uh, seats eight people, I think. You got three in the middle. Or no seven. This hits two in the back, three in the middle, two in the front. Got rear air vents right there. And lastly, we'll check the windows. So everything on this car works. You know, it's just at some point in time in the future, you'll have to do some transmission work. But for the price, it's a good driving vehicle. No rust, it's local, so it's a good little car. We just didn't want to spend all the time and money to fix it because it, it wouldn't be worth more than we'd spend on it.